Hey, Suzanne, and it was definitely democracy in action. As you could tell, things are pretty calm here on the steps of City Hall at the moment, but that was certainly not the case earlier tonight. Hundreds of residents from across the county converging to have their voices heard. From the economy to immigration, residents across Westchester gathering in White Plains Monday night for a town hall meeting with County Executive Rob Astorino, many of them spilling out into the streets. I, like so many people, have never been political before, but right now we feel like our democracy is at stake and we're showing up for things that we need to. We're hoping to see Mr. Astorino defend um, people's rights to be free of gun violence. Gun violence has become a very serious problem. There's more and more incidents of violence and danger, and we want him to protect our families. The national issue of gun violence now back in the Westchester spotlight with last month's return of the gun show at the county center after a four-year hiatus. More specifically, residents here tonight expressing concerns about Nazi paraphernalia that was on display. If the question is, should public resources be used to promote these books, then I have a question. I have a question for you. We spend a million dollars a year, we give a million dollars a year in our county budget to the Westchester Public Library System. All of those, all, listen up, all of those eight books which were on display for sale are available in every public library in Westchester. And no issue was off limits tonight, including Rob Astorino's relationship with President Donald Trump. Now, the county executive also shrugging off a question I asked him earlier tonight about whether town hall events like these are gearing him up for another run at the governor's mansion in 2018. I guess only time will tell. For now, we're in White Plains. Jared Smith, News 12. All right, that story for another day. Jared, thanks a lot for that report.